welcome back thanks for tuning in again if you watched the last video you know we got the winch installed so same day we're gonna take care of one more problem and that is the prop rod that Ford puts on all their vehicles I did change the mode on the Mustang and today we have these from IAG for the Bronco so we'll show you how to get it on there easy peasy should only take a few minutes so what you get in the kit you get two of these little ball with a big washer and this flat nut two of them you get two of the little nuts or bolts which will thread into these which you also get two of and there is a driver and passenger side you can see they are opposite of each other so this will be your passenger side because you want them pointing inwards. All right, so if you look in here, way at the front, you can see there is this little wire here. This is the nut or bolt that you want to take off first. It's hard to kind of see in there, especially with the light. It's a 13 millimeter bolt. It's the same on the other side. It'll be right over there. So you want to pull this clip out and undo that bolt and that is where your bracket will stick to okay so with the kit you get two brackets if you hold them in your hand this way with the hump on the top bigger side on top they sit that way on your bronco driver side passenger side the little ball joint or ball whatever you want to call it goes towards the middle of your hood and then if you come in here now that we've got that bolt out which was in here you can see the clip is out nut and bolt are out this sits in here just like that you put the bolt back in and it comes with another small bolt which goes into here tighten it down and then that hole is actually a new spot to clip the wire back in the little clip that we popped out once it's all bolted in you can see the bracket or the clip goes on the top of the bracket that's your little bolt that came with it just to keep it all aligned where it's got to sit and your factory bolt goes back in so if you want to know this is the other side it sits like that this you should have two of these little bolts that will go in the threaded hole and like i said the top hole is to reattach your clip all right next step once you have the two brackets bolted down are these this is to connect the top of the strut to you if you look at your hood above your hinges if you come straight up you got two cutouts this goes in the top cutout just feed it in there twist a little bit of pressure down It'll start to tighten. And then once you get it almost tight, make sure it slides. It slid all the way to the top. Turn it, snug it, get a wrench on there, 12 millimeter wrench. And then you're ready to put on your struts. And your last step to get this on is the strut itself. Fat part goes up. You can see I actually have the passenger side on already. One thing you have to do is these little steel clips come off, top and bottom. You just pull it. You can do it by finger. Don't lose it. It just comes off. They recommend you take these out. You can see on that side, it's just through the little hole before you put it on the car. You could probably push and just clip it in, but you might bend these and then it's not going to have the strength to hold it in there anymore. So take them out, one side on the top, same thing on the bottom side, clip them on, get them on the car. All right, that is it, they are on. As you can see, holds it up nice and high. It's actually quite a bit higher than where the prop rod was. This sits here, the prop rod, your hood was about down here. So you can see how much more height you get there. For these, when you put them on, I recommend doing the bottom first. Reason being is that little clip this little steel guy you got to put back in is a bit of a pain so it's easier to wiggle around in there you don't want to drop that thing get that on first and secondly is because to get this side on you actually have to push the hood up so with 
pushing the hood up and trying to get that clip on while the bottom is loose was a pain in the butt. So just do the bottom first, then top second. And now for the real test, how easy it goes up. She flings right up top all by herself and it's not that hard to get it back down either. So up and down is easy. Once you are almost flat, it stays down once it's flat and once you pull it up all the way up no problem just be careful especially with a lifted one like this if you're parked under your garage or in your garage this thing's going to come up at 100 miles an hour and it will hit your ceiling there you have it easy install of the struts we're all done it's a must need mod if you have a lifted bronco for sure because i'm six foot tall and this is up to the middle of my chest so if you're a shorter person with the prop ride, especially if it's lifted, it's just a pain in the butt to get that on. So this will make it pop up easy for you. If you like the video, like and subscribe. We're going to start on something on the back right now. So you don't want to miss out on that video. It is some more struts for my AG. We got them right here. So stay tuned for that video. And thanks for watching this one.